I'm looking at a sulfur. This is a male sulfur. Now this guy is very shy, but there's something interesting about what he's doing. I'm interacting with him. And he is convinced of I'm food and he's very unsure of himself. So he's gonna come over here. So he keeps coming here looking at my hand. Okay. Okay. But he was he and I were interacting for a little bit and he is having a hard time differentiating between hands and threats. <laughs> He's just very unsure of himself. So we're looking at an animal that He's, he's really, he just hasn't figured this out. See, this is the way he's behaving. He's really hungry. So he's trying to differentiate between hoses in his cage and my hand. You can see this. All he wants to do is eat, but he hasn't figured it out. So I gotta give him very clear ideas of what your hand is. So when I stick my finger out here, see that? That is something vulnerable. And then if I do my fist like that, what are you gonna do? Okay, so he's, he's learning. So then if I work into the dirt, he's, he's confused. So he is trying to figure out hands versus food. I'm gonna go up there and show off. Making a fool of yourself. What do you think? That's a Tim Healy sulfur I've raised from a little guy. What are you doing? Come here. Yes. He's just, he's so excited. <laughs> but this guy, um, he likes to hide a lot. So when they start hiding a lot, you have a different relationship with them. And it's not by my own choosing, it's by his choosing. So as he hides, he doesn't have to deal with people. So now I'm playing this game where he's hungry and he's forced to come out in the open. Yeah, just by me scratching around, see? Come here. Now, all it takes is just that. So he'll do that little tail whip only because he's just unsure of himself. So the difference between this and being something that I can really do stuff with is getting rid of his little bit of fear that he's got going on. So this is something pretty easy to overcome. I could just put a little bit of effort into this. See, here you go. So this is very, I want to eat. See that? So he's got to figure this out. So keep, keep that finger in. And then I'm doing this. Now, if I stuck my finger out, I am really, that's, that's literally the thing I'm saying, you know, you could bite me. And it's not a bite out of aggression. There he goes. He's almost ready to, to try to grab my hand. He's so hungry. And my hand has food all over it, but I'm kind of playing this game. Just trying to show, understanding, you know, the difference. So you got an animal that's a predator who's a really, really looking for food. Give me that bowl. We're gonna I'll show you what happens when we offer him real food. Okay, this is what he wants. You see that? Okay. Come here, Dum Dum. Oh yeah, that's what he wants. <laughs> but I wanted to do this video so you could see where you're really kind of on the edge of wow you could you could easily sustain you know a bite and it's, and it's a bite because I'm you know 
you not re reading the animal and not realizing what the animal is telling you. This animal has told me loud and clear what it was about. So if I misjudge that that you know behavior, so he he's he he's pretty much. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, you're good. So I'm just working on um, just and you know reaffirming that this is food. My hand is a hand, and I have to use my brain because I'm not going to have a a great relationship with this animal if this animal you know wants to to bite me and stuff like that. But he's good. He's already he's got to figure it out. That's all he wanted. This food. Now, then I would, I could behave, you know, I could, inter oh, you're really just pile <laughs> driving this down. I, I could really um, not have to experience any of that stuff if he wasn't hungry when I was first playing with him because he was really, he was smelling the food on my hands and uh, I kept on confusing him. So if he wasn't quite as shy as he is, he'd have even a better relationship with me. He'd have an easier time discerning things. Push it down, yes. All right, so hopefully this made a little bit of sense to people, just understanding the differences. Yes, it's sloppy business being a predator, like a Varana Salvatore. Say goodbye.